Joe Moyer, who's covering New Zealand first. Leave any court at all about uh, response to um, the party turnout in terms of vote to my Rangatira Winston. But in terms of the North, look, I, I, I stood in the North to be counted. Um, I've got the blood of the North and no one can ever say over the last three years the North has um, suffered through inattention or neglect. Yeah, I mean, this is home for you, so it, it must hurt a little bit to not have got that support. Oh, look, uh, this is my tūranga waiwai, but hey, in the cup of the hand of the voter is my, um, is my political future, so I'm a professional politician. I, I don't let emotions crowd me. And New Zealand First sitting around that sort of 2.2, 2.3 at the yep. moment. What does it mean for Winston Peters and Shane Jones? Oh, well, it's only one person who can court it all for Winston Peters, and um, that's our leader, Winston Peters. But for me, I've said all along, I'm a professional politician, incredibly privileged to have um, helped paddle the waka and have delivered, uh, not only for the north, but provincial New Zealand. And um, let's just wait and see where the final um, numerical ball bounces. In terms of New Zealand First, the party's gone out before, it's regrouped and it's come back to Parliament. Are you going to be the person that might do that if this is the case tonight? Uh, no, any, any corridor about the party and the final nature of the vote this evening, um, only my leader, which is absolutely the right thing to do, talks about that kaupapa. Do you think at this point New Zealand First can make it? Well, I'm, I, 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 look, I, I, the media keep asking these almost facile questions. If you are a politician, you have to be robust. You have to be a glass half full sort of character. And you have to be prepared to watch the ebb and flow of the political tide. If you don't like that, don't come into politics. The Provincial Growth Fund, it's been a big thing in this last government <coughs> and you've, uh, you've put a lot of money into the regions. Are you surprised that that hasn't helped? Well, look, COVID has been a very dislocative experience and um, it has impacted people's um, sense of security, their livelihood in a whole host of different ways. Uh, there's always been a streak in the north of a um, long-standing conservative uh, love affair with the National Party. But um, you can't take it away from the fact that the COVID experience has created an almost galactic halo around the leader of the Labour Party. We're seeing with the National Party they're on the edge of losing a, a lot of safe seats. What do you think... I guess it's, it, it means for the National Party as well. How, how did they regroup? And Jacinda Ardern obviously just completely taking over the Jacinda mania effect, is it? Well, look, um, I wasn't a politician in 2002, but I did help on the ground with Dover Samuels and a host of others from Labour. I've seen this before. And um, politics is dynamic. Uh, nothing is frozen in stone on the night of the election. But look, I don't want to take anything away from the fact people are voting based on what turns them on, but I would say, in relation to the final result, there's um, uh, no conclusive corridor until a certain lady has sung her waiata. Thank you, Shane Jones.